Here we go, one, two, three, go, action. Robert Altman is one of the finest directors since John Ford. Yeah, and that would be the highest praise. Actors, thespians. Yes. Uh, when we do this thing, let's, we won't, don't we'll throw any of the jokes away, but let's play it with, let's, what a little zip. I was very thrilled to receive a call from Robert Altman to come and do this film. I love the fact that at the end of the conversation, he said, come play with us. And I thought, oh, I bet that's what it's going to be like to do the film. Even though we don't get your actual image, <laughs> we get your aura. My first uh, interest in dramatics was radio. As a kid, uh, I remember in the 30s uh, listening to radio. I mean, I wouldn't miss it. So it was kind of a perfect call for me, I think. And I think your best angle is, can I see you when you're up talking to him again, Garrison? And uh, the only that, uh, Grandpa will be with you for Rich, and he'll give me a musical. It was a wonderful sense of freedom on the set. And uh, Bob would say, uh, if I had a question, I'd say, it's up to you. Uh, OK, I like that. He has respect for acting. Um, let's put it as a significant part of the process. And if you have an idea, you know that it will have a good hearing. He wants you to come and, and sort of open your coat and see all the little uh, sparkly things you brought in. He doesn't mind. It's really fun. Mr. Altman is a very uh, benevolent dictator. Can I, can I propose that there would be a little, that they cut, have a little loose dancing up here? Loose dancing? mistake and God knows Dusty's made a few, not that I'm keeping count, but uh, yeah, it's a feeling of uh, general, uh, general amiability. Amiability. I think that's exactly what I would have said had I been the one talking. Right. Too many times you drop an A and an or a V and everybody goes bonkers. Uh, Robert didn't care. The set is very spontaneous, although Bob seems like he has a very definite vision in mind of what he wants to shoot. She comes like this. And then I think she goes over there, right, Bob? I have this little scene where I'm sort of floating around backstage trying to find Chuck. And then as I pass the lunch lady, Bob suggested that I turn completely around so I'm sort of like blown around in her wake. And I loved that because it sort of brought that moment alive for me. Way up north, this camera should have this action to do. Is this, we get this before lunch? Yes, sir, we have an hour and 45 minutes till lunch. Can we do this in an hour and 45 minutes? Oh, Pigs ass pork, you bet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 that
action. Altwing shoots these long takes. He'll shoot 10 pages at one, <laughs> one afternoon, and most people in the movies, they shoot a page and a half at a time. So 10 pages and 20 people and three cameras, and you know, you really don't know what's, <laughs> what's right. up. Yeah, there's something going on here, something going on there. Everybody's mic'd, you know, that's one of his hallmarks anyway. He wants to see everything that's in between all the inadvertent things are like gold to him. It's making the actors play the characters and not just 35 seconds of their day. I'd rather say play 20 minutes of their day and let them really fall into that character. And then we'll extract that proves our point. But I kind of know what I'm looking for. In other words, I kind of know what, say, three of these cameras are going to do. So I'm, I'm editing myself on what I'm going to look at. Not on what I'm going to see, but what I'm going to look at. All of this, you know, from the hallway to the backstage, to the across the stage, the house moves in, they go down the stairs. I mean, you know, this, this should take a week to shoot this. And they're doing it in, you know, a handful of hours. And getting all these different angles at the same time. It's been quite thrilling to see that. He's so funny. He just sits there and, uh, uh, this is my favorite word now, adequate. <laughs> You're adequate. <laughs> Every minute that you have to spend on a movie set with Robert Altman should be um, a treasure. Having an all-star cast in a low-budget picture is the result of one thing, and that is Robert Altman. Say, friends, if you've been living with junk for so long you don't even notice it anymore, if those magazines are piling up and the corners of your house are filling with boxes, you're eating your meals off a little cleared off section of the table, stacks of stuff around it, you haven't paid your bills because you can't find them. Time to call in Monbat Brothers Trash Hauling. They don't just haul trash, they help you make choices. It's painful, but when they leave, they take everything with them that you don't need anymore. Monbat, 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 that's good. Monbat Brothers Trash Hauling.